What's up gamers, this is John of Video Games in the World. This November is the 25th anniversary of the iconic Nintendo 64 title, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the game that brought the Legendary series into 3D, and since then it was a very much loved title. This game had a sequel in 2000 titled The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which some people liked, others loathed it. Ocarina of Time is not only the most loved game on Nintendo, but on the whole gaming industry as well. One of the most loved, of course. <laughs> Many Zelda games in history have been so much loved. Others loathed, like Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. I don't know why Zelda 2 gets so much crap, but I actually like it. Since, of course, it was a game that I played when I was three years old and introduced me officially to the Legend of Zelda series of video games. I remember watching my older brother beating the game and also when I was six, I remember playing A Link to the Past over 30 years ago. What a time to be a child in the 1990s. Great times, man. So, as I said, Ocarina of Time is the most loved Zelda game by many fans. It was first released on the Nintendo 64 in 1998 and received a remaster on the Nintendo 3DS in 2011. According to Metacritic, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is the highest rated game of all time earning universal acclaim with an almighty critical score of 99 as well as earning a score of 9.0 from adoring fans. Recently, fans on Reddit have been discussing the classic that is Ocarina of Time, dubbing it as immortal and a masterpiece. The Reddit thread discussion was sparked by Durley who said, Core gaming memory unlocked and posted an image of Link and Epona vaulting over a wall to embark on their next adventure. Many Reddit users say that the game is an immortal masterpiece, a timeless classic, and many say that it's their favorite Zelda title ever. They also express love for Majora's Mask. What can I say? I fondly remember getting the game as my Christmas present in 1998 when I was 12 years old. What a time that was. Now, I love, I love Ocarina of Time. Fantastic story, great gameplay, beautiful world, beautiful graphics, the most fun side quest, including that unbeatable one with a running man. <laughs> but it's not like my most favorite game ever. This may be starting a war, but my most favorite Zelda game is A Link to the Past, which is a great game as well. Other Zelda games that I loved are Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, The Wind Waker, The Minish Cap, the Oracle Games, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom. Now, some of my friends didn't like Majora's Mask. I guess the reason why some people didn't like Majora's Mask is because you have to go back in time before the world ends, since Link has to save Termina in 72 hours. But I actually liked it. I'll admit that it's annoying to go back in time over and over again after beating a boss, but I actually enjoyed the game and obtaining every mask run and their magical effects such as the bunny hood, making you run fast. It can be tedious getting all the stray fairies in the dungeons, but I like how they were designed. The dungeons, of course. At the time that I spoke to fellow Zelda fans and many expressed that their favorite game is Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, The Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, and some said that A Link to the Past is their most favorite game, and that one is my most favorite, as I said. Some people also said that their favorite Zelda game is Breath of the Wild. Zelda continues to shine with every game and it's enjoyable. And also remember learning about the timeline through Hyrule Historia. And Ocarina of Time was the game that split the timeline into three. Child Era, which continues with Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and Four Swords Adventures. The Adult Era, which continues the, with The Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. And there's a timeline where Link was defeated by Ganon, leading to A Link to the Past, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Link's Awakening, Link Between Worlds, Triforce Heroes, and then the first Zelda game and Zelda 2. The first Zelda game was hard, especially the second quest. I remember my older brother beating the game and the struggle with the second quest. The second quest is totally a major pain in the ass. Now, I wasn't too fond of Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks because you have to use the stylus in order to fight and do some other things as well. But they were awesome games nonetheless. I guess that in some way, the three timelines combine and lead to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. 
if I'm wrong about this, please let me know in the comments. So, what is your favorite Zelda game of all time? Please tell me in the comments. Like and subscribe, everyone. This is John, host of Video Games in the World, signing off. May the way of a hero lead to the Triforce. Bye.